Hi, this is David. Wanted to show how to use the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus to calculate the present value of future cash flow. In this case, I'm going to assume $100 received in the future, and the discount rate is 10% per annum. So here I have a row, one year, two years, three years, four years. So this last row here is the present value of $100 received in four years at 10% per annum with annual discounting with semi-annual and with continuous. So as usual, the compound frequency matters. So I'm going to recreate right now briefly the 7462, which is going to be the answer to the question of what is the present value of $100 received in three years if we discount at 10% per annum semi-annually? And so I just apply this formula here, which gives us the discount factor and multiply it by the future cash flow. I like to start from the inside out with the Texas Instruments because we need to be mindful of the parentheses and a little easier that way, I think, sometimes. So I'm just going to start here with the interest rate. It's 10%. And I'm dividing by 2 because we're going to use, assume semi-annual discounting. And I'm going to add the 1. Okay, that gives me everything in the parens here, which is 1.05. And I'm going to raise it to the product of the T and K. So here's my raise to power key, Y to the X. I'm raising, I'm going to open parens and multiply the three years multiplied by two, two periods per year under semi-annual, close that parens. So my exponent is six. And that gives me the denominator here. And then I can retrieve the discount factor by simply hitting the reciprocal key here. So that gives me the discount factor. So then I multiply that by the $100 that is the future cash flow to retrieve the present value of $100 received in three years at 10% semi-annual. Now, let me just do one more. Let me uh, uh, compute the $100 received in four years, but under continuous discounting. So in this case, this discount factor is really elegant. Note, I'm just going to take the rate of 10 years, and I want to swap the sign here because I'm discounting, and multiply it by four years. We're discounting over four years. I get negative. 0.4 and then it's just e to that uh, e to the negative 0.4 so that key stroke is right here the natural log and exponential function are inverse functions of each other so uh, each other so I just hit second and notice I get the little feedback here and hit the natural log keystroke gives me my discount factor which I then multiply by that future cash flow of 100 and I get the present value is sixty seven dollars and three cents. And I can just test that by compounding that forward over four years at the same interest rate. I should get a future value back of 100. Very easy to do. I just multiply that present value now of $67.03, multiply it by, and I'm going to compute the exponent here. I'm going to open the parens and take 10% multiplied by four years, close the parens. So that's my exponent. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, E here and hit that. Gives me my exponent. And it's been multiplied by the present value. Get me Gets me back to a future value of 100. So that's basically discounting under discrete compound frequencies and also under continuous. Thank you.